Everything you do on an Arduino Uno, you could do on a Nano, but a lot cheaper. I'm Tom Kovicek, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And like I said in the beginning, whatever you do on an Arduino Uno, you could do on a Nano. A Nano is just like this, but you may have to solder the, the headers onto it. Now, what I did right here was I soldered some headers onto it, and... I uploaded the program on there where I showed you before where I did five LEDs and I also did the LCD and we'll see that right over here that you could see that happening. So I just wanted to let you know that everything that you do can be done on the Nano but with less money. And why is it less money? Well I got three of these. Actually, there's one that I soldered the headers onto, and I got it on the breadboard. Here's another one right here without the headers. And I'm going to show you on this video how to solder those headers on there real easy. There it is. I have it on the breadboard. I have all the LEDs on there. I got an LCD on there, and all I have to do is plug it in, and you can see right over here what it's doing. And if you would like to see more videos like this about model railroading and about Arduino and about what you can do with Arduino, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell. And that'll notify you whenever I have a new video coming out. And speaking of videos, go ahead and check my playlists. I have over 40 playlists that are categorized for you to find easily. So go check them out. So let's see how we solder this stuff on here. And it's a piece of cake, there's nothing to it. The Nano is a miniature Arduino Uno. In fact, it's got a couple of extra um, analog imports on there. It's, this one goes up to, let me see what it says. This one goes all the way up to A7. The Uno only goes up to A5. So there's a couple of extra um, analog inputs in there, but I think the last two, the six and seven analog inputs, you can't address as a digital input or output on there. Six and seven is specifically an analog pin. Okay, what else is the difference? It's got a reset button on there and it's got the, the mini USB port on there. And it fits nicely on a breadboard like this. That's why I have it set up there because I'm going to be using that to solder it. But I'm going to start on this side here. I just have to figure out a way to hold this side up to get the first one done because I tried it the other way and this sets it up too high. Or maybe sitting on the reset button is proper height. Pretty close. Okay, so I'll use that as the guide right there for the these headers right here. I'll have to hold it down though to solder it there. I'll just have to get a glob of solder. I don't know. Let's see how we'll do this. I'll just get a glob of solder on there. But anyway, let's get that out of sleep. Get some solder ready. Get some flux ready. Really all you got to do is just get one, one of these pads done and that'll hold it in place. But what I'll do is I'll need to hold this around the other way. Get some solder on here. Get some extra solder on there. So what I'll do is just lay it in there so it'll hold it. Alright, that did the trick. So let me get some flux on these other pins. 
You see that? Put it in there real nice. All right, I'll dab these other pins here. I'm getting in the way, but I'm gonna have to do that center one over again. Let me see where's my brush. Do the center one again, right here. Stick a little bit more flux on it. thing on and then take a look at it with this one here and that's perfect and it's lined up perfect okay so there we go that's the header for those set of pins right there now all we got to do is Put these on and we'll just go down the line with these and I may not show you the whole thing just damp some flux on here okay I did the first eight of them Sure, we get this nice and steady. And just get some flux in that first one. first eight pins. Okay, now the next seven pins.
And this one again. Okay. That looks good. Let's pull this one up here. Take a look at that. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of them off camera so you don't have to be bored through this whole thing. Okay, just finished up the last of the pins. We'll pull this out. See what that looks like there. Got that side and the bottom side. I'll just clean that up a little bit and we'll test it out on the computer. Well, that was about three and a half weeks ago that I soldered those headers on there. And when I went to try it out on my Windows 10 computer, I wasn't able to upload any sketches on there. It appears they had the wrong firmware on here. Although I was able to upload sketches on my Windows 7 laptop, it still didn't work on Windows 10. And after a couple of emails back and forth with the manufacturer, they decided that uh, the firmware needed updated on it to uh, work on Windows 10. So they decided to send me three more nanos. The only problem is they have to send them from China. Now that was about three and a half weeks ago that I talked to them. So they said three to four weeks. So we'll see in about the next week to see if I get any more in. But anyway, that would be six of them. Now they know that they, they didn't they didn't ask me to send these back or anything. So I got these three that'll work on my Windows 7 and I'll have three more that will work on both Windows 7 and Windows 10. So made out like a bandit on that one there. So I'll have six nanos, nano nano. And that's all we have for right now. We'll have some more Arduino made easier on Saturday and we're going to start doing some lighting in our buildings over here. Well, I have some buildings over here and some buildings back in the corner. And I have some new ones that I'm going to assemble that I am going to make flats out of them. But we'll put some lighting into those. Now, that'll be, oh, about a month down the road before you'll be able to see them. But anyway, that's what's coming up in the future with the Arduino projects that I'm doing. Now, Arduino Made Easy is going to be the easy stuff, but I'm also gonna show you some of the stuff that I do that I've been experimenting with over here. I have some stuff that I've been experimenting with with a servo board where we could run our servos on there. Also been doing, uh, where's my other one? Oh yeah, on I got some boards, stepper board, uh, boards for stepper motors. I wanted to do the DCC plus, DCC plus plus, but I have an old, older uh, motor shield that doesn't have the little things on the bottom. So what I got, so what I did was I got some extra headers and I'm going to put this up on top of my other uno like this and eliminate it from hitting the five volts so it doesn't draw the five volts from the board and burn it out i, I think that's what the that little thing is that you have to cut on the newer ones i'm going to try it out like this to see if it it works like that and if it does then i'll be able to take these extra headers off and just cut these pins on here. But I want to make sure before I start cutting anything off of here, if it's going to work. So that's why I'm putting the headers on there. You can see like that, I put the headers on there and this is the, the, uh, the voltage section right here. Now there's two grounds on that side, but there's also a ground on this side. So I'm not, I don't have to worry about that. It's still, has a ground going from one board to the other. So we'll see how that works out and I'll let you know how that works. Uh, this this one's four, about four, maybe even five years old. So that's, that's why it doesn't have all the newer stuff on there like the, the ones you can get right now. So that's it for right now and we'll see you.